Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to another Empower Your Voice session with me, Clifton Ross III. I hope you've had a great weekend, and I hope that you have a great week. So today, I want to talk about ad-libs. Ad-libs can be very important and effective in a song if they're used properly. They further enhance the message that you're trying to convey within the song. Ad-libs are usually used during the chorus, during the vamp, or even during the bridge of a song. Now, some of my favorite ad-libbers are my favorite singer and just everything, Brandy. I love what she did on the Full Moon Project. Everything she does on the Full Moon Project is great, but also every other project since then. Her way that she delivers and her ad-libbing skills are amazing. Also, Byron Cage, same thing. Every project, every song, and I'm a little biased because I get to work with him every Sunday. So to see what he can do live and how he can quote scriptures and really just encourage the people and move the house and move the crowd and encourage them within those moments are amazing. I love what Kiara Shear does on You Are and indescribable and literally her whole project too if you youtube her you can watch her get in her flow and really talk about how she feels about god and whatever the message is god you are amazing or god you are just that good you are my prince of peace you are this you are that amazing lillian lloyd can take a song like she did on ricky dillard's one more chance she can really like tell a whole story and <laughs> before you know it you're like whoa She's still singing One More Chance, but it's like, wow, God, you gave her one more chance. And she's telling you everything that she did and how you have given her one more chance. Wow. That takes skill. Some people can just get at the mic and freestyle like rappers can do. Or like somehow some pastors and preachers can get up with just their Bible or nothing and really just tell a whole story without having an actual text. Other people have to study and show thyself approved and really write down different pinpoints or different subjects or bullet points. And there's nothing wrong with that either. I think you need to identify what you do well. If you're a great freestyler, then go ahead. If you're like me and need to really study a little bit and just kind of go with it, I think you need to figure that out too. So there are a few things that you need to know. One is the subject of the song. Two, the message in the song of what you're trying to convey. Three, how do you feel about the message and how do you feel about the subject of the song? That needs to come out. And then four, your delivery. You need to be able to deliver the song in sound bites, which fits in the, the rhythmic and the melodic structure of the song. So I'm going to give you a little example, just a little one. Okay, so let's do the song, Jesus, You're the Center of My Joy. Let's fast forward all the way to the van. So we have Jesus, Jesus. You are, you are the center. Now, imagine that's going in the background. Of my, of my Jesus. Now, you can always start with what the background are saying. And then you kind of need to enhance or flow from there and go on from there. But use your the what the choir or the background is saying as your foundation. So let's try it. Jesus, you are... The center of my joy. Oh, Jesus, you are the center of my joy. When I have nothing else, I can call on you. When I'm alone or when I'm afraid, you said if I delight myself in your presence, you give me the desires of my heart. So I lift my hands and say yes. I'll bless your name. I worship you in spirit and in truth. Oh, Jesus. And really kind of go from there. You could take that and just say, God, I worship you. God, I love you. How else is Jesus the center of your joy? How does he make you glad? What has he done for you lately? What things have he brought you from? What things have he brought you to, brought you through? All of that. Take that pen and paper. Get a notepad and write down how you feel about certain songs. And it doesn't have to be gospel. It could be love songs. If you've been hurt before, write about your hurt. Talk about the person that did that to you. How did that make you feel? What did that make you feel about them? All of that stuff is important because somebody can identify with what you're saying. 
So one, don't feel like you're alone and that you're going through this by yourself and that nobody can identify with. We are hurt in love. We are hurt in every type of area in our life. So in ad libs are important. Okay, so I hope this kind of helped you a little bit with ad libbing. Take some practice. Take some time. Like I said, get a notepad and go forth. Hope you have a great week and I will see you next week on Empower Your Voice. Peace out, y'all.